Makeda Delane in the novel Sprint Dreams is a one-track mind kind of girl. She's got one goal and one goal only. Get her black behind to nationals. She shares a lot in common with All-American and Georgia native Quintavian Poole. Quinn is one of the most aspirational and driven people you'll ever meet. He keeps it completely 100 in his goals, thoughts, and ambitions. He's not afraid to run with the big dogs, and he is clearly showing that he belongs with them. He is tough, a natural talent since high school, and is willing to take on damn near any workout. I know this from spending the morning watching him run one of the toughest workouts I've seen. got this from a lovely bystander admiring our wonderful athlete here and his physique. Um, you say you gonna give this to your dog? Yeah. You brought your dog back here? Yeah, little Kodak. Kodak? Is it just this one dog, right? Yeah, it is one, one dog. Okay, so what else did you bring in this move to Florida? Uh, my game system, and that's about it, and me. Your game system and you? And me. Okay, so what's coming down here like a last minute decision definitely like i got this where well, i got the uh the thing from my agent and my sponsor that uh, i had to be here by before the end of june and i got noticed that like on the 25th of june on the 25th so, so you got, have five days so i had to hurry up and get here like you know so trying to get here was like stressful then jumping into the group like because i come from like my coach he was pretty like, you know, on what I do. So coming here, like the first day of workout, I think we had like, we had a 200, a 150, a 150, 100, 100, 80, 80, 40, 40. And the time in the 200 was like 21, four faster. But for me, it was easy. But at the same time, I was done because I come from like running like 22 second pace. Yeah. And trying to do that. Hard, like I was sore for at least for two weeks. Yeah, I was sore for two weeks for sure. Man. So is it different here then? Then where are you from originally? From Georgia. Is it different? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of different. Now, did you go to college in Georgia though? Nah, Texas. You went to college in Texas. Yeah, I started out at Mississippi State University. Oh, okay. Then, you know, my ACT got red flag. Then I had to go to a JUCO. I went to a great JUCO. What was that? Um, Kansas called Butler. Oh, okay. I was there with Eli Hall, Andre Ure, got Siobhan Blair, Hakeem Surley. Like, so, like, he was great there. Everybody that went there is pro now. Makes sense, because I know... Surprisingly, I know those names. I'm not good at names, for real. Are you? Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to like track names? Oh yeah, of course. I know oh, a lot did? of people. Okay. I, I mean, I know, once I meet them, I know them. But yeah. like, in terms of if you just ask me like lists of times and stuff like that, I'm like, uh, if I've never seen your face, it might be difficult. Um, but once I get to like talk to these athletes, like yeah. they real cool, right? Yeah, some of them you got some. <laughs> some of them? Yeah, the ones I you know associate with, they pretty cool, straightforward. Like. So you got people to push you in your group? Yeah, I got like Stevie, I got Michael Berry, I got Fritz Rod, Ducky, I think I said it right. <laughs> um, I got KJ, I got Trent Tavis, I got Chavez. Oh, you good? Yeah. So yeah, I was good. Yeah. Is there any of them that you like look up to? Uh, yeah, my, my boy Fred, Fred Curly, definitely. Uh, Coleman, you know, because he's from Georgia. That's about it, though. Really, those are like the ones that you like aspire to be like. Yeah, I talk to Fred like at least every other week when we ain't busy. Like, you know, we kind of chop it up, have a little conversation or whatnot about track. That's about it. And what about like old coaches? You still hit up like old coaches? Oh yeah, definitely. Coach Henry. That's your coach? That's, that's like coach. your your influential coach? That's my go-to guy, Coach Henry. About everything. 
How'd you meet Coach Henry? Uh, actually, when I when I went to Wayland, I well, I met him when I went on a visit to Edna. That was like in high school. Okay. He was a volunteer coach. So then we then after all that happened, I signed to Edna. I really didn't, you know, talk to nobody no more. So after then I went to a JUCO. So after that, you know, I was planning on going to Edna. I went back on a visit. And he was there, so so luckily I got into some mess at my JUCO. I had to go to Wayland Baptist. So the, like the the second week I was at Wayland Baptist, the coach that was there he left. So I was like, dang, like what's the next coach we're gonna get? And luckily we got Coach Henry. So when I found out we was gonna get him, like everything started falling in place. Like it started running fast and whatnot. And he like he came like he was like a father figure to me. So we had a plan for those people. So what kind of advice did he give you for off the track? Graduate. I like that. Graduate college. Stay focused. So, so was he like hard on you? Of him? course, definitely, definitely me. Why do you think he was so hard? Just because like he's a, a naturally like tough person because some coaches are like naturally tough. Like, he was or... only really tough on me, but like he wanted the best for me, like because I got a lot of potential and whatnot. So yeah. Sure. Did you always know that you had this potential? Like where did this love of track start? Uh actually like 10th grade when I ran my first 46, like the end of 10th grade. When did you start track though? Uh, really ninth grade, but I was a distant runner. I ran like the mile and two miles in the 800. I ran. You put you in that? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you weren't scared to run that? See, I ain't know nothing about track then, so I just did it like, you know, I just did it just to be doing it. But I was like, man, I'm tired of distant runners in high school. Like, you know, you really don't get no girls when you run distant. So I was like, you know, I got a switch event. So that's what it was, getting girls. Yeah, so I had a switch <laughs> event. So when I switched events, I went to the four and the eight, and I ran 157 in 10th okay. grade, and I stopped running it. Okay. So then, like, 11th grade, well, like, 46 runs. That is, that's a lot of talent, bro. Yeah, so I ran, like, 46 runs. 20, 20 point, yeah, 20.96. Then... My senior year, I was like, let me try to run 100. I went 10.43, and I ain't running no more after that. 10.43, and then you stopped running the 100. Yeah, then I started back running, and then Juco, I actually dropped the four to pick up the 100. And I started, I was running the 60, so I was running like 6.7 consistently. My first time ever running it, I went like 6.80. Okay. And after that, I was like 6.70, 6.70, 6.76. Then I went to Wayland. That's when I, you know, got with Coach Henry, picked back up the floor. But I was running like 46 fours indoor consistently, easy. Okay, so when you switch down to the hundred in the short sprint, do you think you got more girls? No, I got that in high school. Yeah, I got that in high school. You know. Okay, okay. <laughs> so ideal girl. Yeah. Ideal. Like what you mean? Ideal girl. Like what what kind of girl like you attracted to? Cougars. Cougars? Oh yeah, definitely. I like an athlete though. I like an athlete. Okay, so we got athletes, we got cougars. Okay, so we like the older type. Of course. Okay. Is it just like their vibe or just like their energy? Yeah, the vibe, you know. I got you. They I come with you. benefits. <laughs> I can't even mad, like secure your bag, bro. Like for real, secure your bag. I, I can't be mad. <laughs> Our last date you've been on. Last date. Am I gonna get you in trouble with any girls? Nah, I ain't okay. got no girl. Okay, okay. Last date. Uh, been a minute though. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute. But I'ma go and win like on my, I think my birthday week, so you know, I can't say no names. Okay, okay, okay. What's your like 
ideal date or it just sort of depends on like the person yeah it just the mood like the vibe okay okay so like then what's your vibe like you somebody who likes to be like in the city or like in the field type thing that we in right now yeah i like to be in the city like you know you a spontaneous person when it comes to things? Or you like to set things up, plan everything? Whatever happens, happens. Everything. <laughs> I just be chilling. So, th has that ever distracted you in track? Or do you think that's like a distraction in track? Definitely. Or, it girl, is? Nah, no, I don't want It doesn't? No. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. Before it get to that point, like, you know, I just break it off, like, you know. So, like, what's... If girls are not your biggest distraction, what is your biggest distraction in track that you constantly need to die about? Uh, going back home, like, I don't like, really like going back home. Okay. Even though you, you know, like, you're never supposed to, you know, forget where you come from, but going back home, yeah. I understand that. I mean, it's definitely where you grew up will always be a part of you. You can't really get rid of that. Yeah. But I understand when it's just like, when you're trying to move and do certain things, sometimes you have to move. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, not even to get, like, religious for real, for, but, like, even Jesus, like, he had to leave his hometown. Because mm -hmm. he was talking about, like, how come I help other people in other places and they accept my help, but when I go home, y'all doubt me. Y'all don't yeah, listen It's to like me. that now, though. It's like that now, honestly, like said it on the head like it actually like, like I get more love over here in Florida than back home for sure like. all right so you talked about like USA's like this really good experience but it was real cutthroat right very yeah. but I mean that's just like the business part of you know track like yeah. especially on this level track is that is a is a business yeah like your body is a business your body is is what you're marketing aside from you know that future deal you're gonna have that you're marketing for sure what was like the hardest part about tracking in general that you had to get through or like a hard moment a hard moment was definitely switching training training groups and leaving my coach to be with the new coach that was very tough and hard for me definitely so what made that hard? Like the different workouts and trying to adjust like to my surroundings, getting used to the, the coach and stuff. So definitely, yeah, definitely hard for me. So like, you know, I see you take pictures of like, you know, with younger kids and kids who are aspiring to be like you one day. Yeah. Like, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, even just keep working when it get tough when you seem like when it seem like everything is falling just keep working that's what I do like just keep working okay any like common distractions that you think or it just sort of depends like the personal things in everybody's life yeah definitely yeah. Okay. and what could you give yourself that that young you in high school, running them 1500s, not getting all them girls. <laughs> what advice would you have given that person? Uh, yeah, I really wasn't giving nobody advice, bro. I was just trying to like, you know, see this what I want to do, like, at the end. I didn't give nothing. Like, what do you mean, what you want to do at the end? Like, is this what I really want to pursue or play football? So I really didn't, like, at that, at that time, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So. I mean, but do anybody really know what they want to do at, like, 15? No, nah, not really. Nah. Yeah, that's. Thought that's I was going to be a football player or, you know, play for UTA or whatnot. That's what I was thinking. Until I ran some fast and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. And I mean, track, you get to be surrounded by pretty chicks all the time. Definitely. Because I mean, <laughs> look, I gotta brag for us track girls, you know, we, we be killing it. We kill it. So, yeah. Look out for Quinn Poole. Oh, yeah. 
Quimpool on Instagram. Might have a Twitter, so we might have to look out for that. And we're looking forward to your next big race, which is World Champs. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, World Champs. We Trying to win there. it, for sure. All right, Ten all right, more. all right. So we're looking out for World Champs. We're looking out for some big times. Yeah. To beat these people's behinds, all that. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right.